Hi boys and girls. Well, we've started learning about ponds and amphibians, and that's what we'll be talking about for hmm, a couple of weeks. Well, I have two friends that go for a walk around a pond. We've met them before. We met them when they went for a walk through the forest, and we met them when they went for a walk through the snow. Well, now they're going to take a walk around a pond and we're going to go with them to see what they see. So meet my friends William and Cammie as they go around the pond. Who's been here? And it's written and illustrated by Lindsay Barrett George. So let's join our friends William and Cammie as they go for a walk around the pond. And let's find out what do they see and listen carefully because they're going to give you some clues before you get to guess which animal they're talking about. Here we go. Cammy and her brother grab their berry containers and follow the old deer path that circles the pond. A dead sugar maple tree stands alone by the water's edge. White feathers are stuck to the bark around a hole. Who's been here? Hmm. So there are some white feathers stuck to the hole in a dead tree. Who do you think has been there? Two baby wood ducks. So wood ducks find holes in trees. They fly up there, give birth to their Oh, excuse me, lay the eggs and then out hatches the two little ducklings and then the ducklings leap out of the tree and into the pond to be with their parent. Pretty cool idea to help keep those baby ducklings safe. All right, let's keep going. Sam finds a stick. He wants someone to throw it. Not now, Sam, William says. We've got to pick blueberries. Their dog lies down on the soft moss. William, take a look at this footprint, says Cammy. Who's been here? Hmm, whose footprint do you think that is? We know it's an animal that lives around a pond. Who do you think? A baby raccoon. Raccoons like to wash their food. So they live near water, but not all. Some of them live in the city, but you know what? They'll still find a puddle or a bowl of water and give their food a good swishing. A tree has fallen across the path and into the pond. William dangles his feet in the water he sees a shallow crater on the sandy bottom. Who's been here? So who do you think is going to make a sandy crater, a sandy dip in the bottom of a pond? A sunfish. So they make those little craters so they can lay their eggs in them. Cammy and William reach a patch of swamp azalea. They see a pile of branches and mud. Who's been here? Who makes a branch and mud pile near a pond? Who do you think? A beaver. So that branch and mud pile could be the start of a dam or it could be the beaver's lodge, their home. Bits of broken shell lie on the sunny bank. The children stop to take a closer look. William picks up a piece of shell. It is soft. Who's been here? Now, wait a minute. We learned about another animal that had a soft, 
leathery shell. And who was that? I think this animal might be part of the same family. A painted terrapin. We learned about the diamondback terrapin with its soft pink leathery eggs. Cammie and her brother stop in front of a large blueberry bush. They pick and eat. Sam likes blueberries too. Cammie points to a long filmy shape that is caught on the branches. Who's been here? Hmm, who has a skin like that that might live near and around a pond? A garter snake. So they shed their skin as they grow because their skin gets too tight and then they need to break it off and get a new skin that fits their body. Sam wades into the water and takes a drink. A red-winged blackbird scolds from a nearby branch. A large grey feather floats next to a lily pad. Who's been here? What's an animal that might have a large grey feather? A great blue heron. Yikes! He caught the sunfish making it his lunch. Everybody's got to eat. The pond is quiet and still. The late afternoon sky turns pink. Let's go wading, says Cammy. The mud is soft and squishy. Hmm, look at the mussel shells, says William. Who's been here? So who might be an animal that eats mussels, breaks open the shell to eat the soft insides? An otter. They like eating those shellfish. Very smart to bang them against rocks to help open them. Cammy and William reach the dock. They have eaten most of their blueberries. But look, two full pails of berries are waiting for them. Who's been here? They know. Who do you think has been there? It has picked blueberries. Come and join us, calls their father. And in they go. So mum and dad came and picked blueberries too. My, that's a mighty big pond they're swimming in. And then here's some information about the animals. Well, my friends, now we've taken a look at a pond and who we might find living there. So scroll on down and find out what your assignment is today.